What a beginning. The birth of a new century and a new superstar who arrived gift wrapped by his father in a spectacular debut. It unleashed a mania that will not go away. I'm proud to have as my guests the creators of this phenomenon, his family. Father and ace director Raki Shroshan, mother and anchor Pinky, and their son, the sensational Riti Roshan. Rakesh, Pinky, Rithik, it is great to have the three of you here. Thank you so much for coming. It's our, it's our pleasure to be here. First, congratulations. Mubarak, Badhai, you've made the greatest hit of the year, of this millennium. Did you ever imagine it to be such a success? Kaho na pyaar hai? I definitely knew that uh, it would be a good film, but commercially nobody knows how big a hit movie is going to be. I knew it would be appreciated, but... Not to this extent. He asked me how the film was. <laughs> I told him right away, I said, you have three aces in your hand. Yeah. A good film, mm -hmm. great music, and uh, Rithik. Could you have predicted his success? No, not really. But I always knew there is a good actor. I always thought, even if my film does not uh, uh, be successful at the box office, he would be accepted. Accepted only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a minor actor. word. Just thank God. You got how many proposals on Valentine's Day? I really don't know. <laughs> uh, a lot, but I don't know. A lot of fan mail, a lot of letters, a lot of flowers. We had to change the telephone lines two, three times. Because every call, every every second there is to be a call. We want to talk to Hrithik, we want to talk to, talk to Hrithik. Girls. Girls and young and boys. And, and, and Lots of children. And their mothers for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me. Bachpan me, what was Hrithik like? Hmm. Okay. Dreamer. Okay. He was a dreamer. <laughs> dreamer, very stubborn. No one to eat anything. I don't think he ate or drank uh, milk, milk for the last. Dad used to cook for me. He made me, <laughs> so one day I cooked, me gain weight. I cooked sma mashed potatoes for him. He liked but it. He didn't eat, so I had to put it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he was very good in studies. I was okay. I was, no, he was in the was first, first three. Always in the no, first no, three. No, <laughs> not first three. Me? No, no, no. I, I used to uh, manage a 65% average. That's good. Yeah. Oh, why didn't you eat? Huh? I uh, just couldn't uh, find time from all my playing. <laughs> Cycling. I just cycle a lot and you know, do these stunts. I think you're stunts. forgetting something somewhere. It was more of indoor sport. With your small cars and the pencil. Ah, yeah. I used to have, uh, you know, I... <laughs> sounds so stupid, yeah. <laughs> I used to, you know, have these men, you know, and, uh, you know, these little men. Toys. 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 As well. yeah. And sometimes when I didn't have, have the men, like, you know, when I was in school, I used to just take my pencils and pretend that they're you know, two, uh, you know, soldiers. ninja guys or soldiers. And, and I used to actually, you know, make them fight with each other. <laughs> and yes, I watched here and a somersault. And I used to, like, spend hours doing that. All the time. <laughs> or with my little dinky cars, you know. Yeah. With my, with my cumbal, I used to you know, make little mountains and drive the car up and down. Up the slopes, yeah. down the hills. <laughs> Oh, so much fun. Those days were fun. Was he always as good as he seems today? Mm. Yes, he was. Never got into trouble and always a truthful. I got in trouble once, I remember. I don't remember. Those, uh, those can of beer bottles were landed. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. This yes. day on the terrace. Major trouble. On the, on the 13th, 13th floor. floor. Empty beer bottles were kept there, kept there, you know. And they were, they were flinging everything down. Flung beer yeah. bottles down 13th floor. 13th floor. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The entire That's grade. when the entire I entered building. in my car, you know. I see all these lot of people. I was wondering what happened in the building. <laughs> and my son was responsible of throwing all these bottles down. And that was the only time I hit him. I, I just lost my temper <laughs> and I put him on the table. On the dining table <laughs> and I just yeah. started hitting him. But then I realized it was not his mistake, it was just a kid. Did you tell her? Before I could do that, Dad used to always, uh, you know, whenever he used to scold us, me and my sister, he used to... Uh, Always, always make it a point to come back. And uh, you know, he, he just come and stand there and he says, is, is it paining you? Did I hit you too hard, you know? 
or he used to just apologize <laughs> or something or the other. And that used to just make it all okay. That's very sweet. Yeah. Did his talent as an actor reveal itself early? Uh, I was making a movie called Bhagavan Dada. Yeah. So we needed a, a young boy in the film. So Umji said, Ki, let's take Dugu. We call him mm. Dugu. Why do you call him Dugu? Because uh, my name is Gudu. Gudu. I thought so. So he came on the sets. He was giving his first shot, so I ran away. I said, <laughs> 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 he was a producer. <laughs> <laughs> I went out and from far I was watching. Ma'am, Govinda, come Shanti Nagar factory ka manager or Bhagwan Dada ka beta. Do you hear even did this thing to Sri Devi when? Deko, meri muh se nikli baat puri ho kar hi rati hai. Tum chachi ban kar hi rahogi. So I said, oh, how did he do that? And that is the time I realized that he has in him. Mm -hmm. And you enjoyed that experience? Yeah, it was fun at that time. So then is that why you wanted to become an actor? Always, though I might not have expressed it in so many words. But at the back of my mind, I always knew that this is what I had to do. I had to once uh, take a decision on whether I should not do it. Like whether when? I should, you know, go abroad, further studies, because that is a struggle mm -hmm. so, so long. So I wanted to finish the studies and, you know, do something and then come and join the film so that you, you have something to fall back on. Hmm. Because the way I struggled all my career, all my life, yeah. I didn't want him to do that. NYU was where I was going. When the time came, I asked myself very honestly, why am I going? Because, because I'm afraid of the struggle. You know, maybe I'll have to go through what dad went through. Is that why, why I'm going? If I'm doing that, then I'm just running away. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not the kind of man that I want to be then, you know. It's, right. So I went back to dad and I told him, you struggle, you know, you did, you did it the hard way. I'm your son, trust me. Really? Let me, you know, find my own way. Yeah, I asked him if that's your final decision, I said, okay. Okay. I was already uh, assisting him at that time. But as an assistant, you did everything. Like everything, mm -hmm. yes. More everything. than everything. But you used to uh, push the trolley, you used to also serve the, the stars their tea. Yeah. I've served, yes. Whom? Who did you serve? Um, <laughs> I've, um, Salman, I've served, served Salman breakfast once. <laughs> <laughs> In Sariska, yeah. yeah. But tell me, Rithik, when you were an assistant and you used to watch other actors acting for your father, right. standing on the sidelines, did you ever feel that, oh God, I could do it, I could do it better if only I got the chance? I, I had the feeling of, yes, I could do it, but better was, was uh, something that never came to my head because he was working <laughs> with the best. I was watching actors like Anil Kapoor, I was watching actors like Shah Rukh Khan, Salman. I mean, you know, I, I saw the best at work, so. Yeah. But didn't you ever ask the camera attendant to stay back? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of that, yes. <laughs> yes, I uh, had this little thing with the camera attendant and right after pack up when you know everyone used to go away, I used to hold back the camera car. I do. I don't know about this. Even I don't know about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you you uh, caught one shot once, but I don't think you remember. Um, I used to hold him back, and you know, um, I used to hold one of those you light light guys this. back, and you know, hold the reflectors up for me, and I used to say, roll the camera, <laughs> you know? and I used to either walk to it or you know, give one of those turns or you know, look up or say a dialogue, <laughs> something or the other. And then I, I had this thing with the lab that, you know, keep my role separate. Oh, that's what I didn't see. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, that was fun. Interesting, isn't yes, it? Yes. How much he did on his own. Yes. Huh? Well, you didn't even know it. I'll tell you, he went for his first uh, photo session. I didn't know about it. He just came home and I said, Baba, I want to show you something. I said, what? I've got myself a uh, photograph. I, I, I would like you to see it. Mm. I said, you know, he told me. And when I saw the photographs, it was amazing. And then I said, if you like that, like the pictures, then I need 10,000 rupees because I need to pay <laughs> <laughs> the photographer.
couldn't we go back a long way, don't we? Oh, yeah. The making of Seema. I think uh, I started my career that year. And I remember it was during that film you both fell in love and got married. Yes. Right? We came for the honeymoon. You went to uh, okay. Manali for your honeymoon yeah, yeah. during the film. Yeah. Do you know, nothing's changed. You still look like a honeymoon couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only this thing has changed. <laughs> well, I think it looks very elegant. But, uh, Kudu, you have been in this bizarre business for 30 years. Yes. I remember at that time, during Seema, there was a huge buzz around you. And everybody had predicted a Rajesh Khanna success for you. But despite being a wonderful actor, it never really happened. Why? I think I never got a chance to work with good directors. Mm -hmm. That's very important True. in the beginning of your career. And secondly, I didn't uh, choose the right roles. So I did a lot of mistakes. But you have said that it was a 20-year journey of heartbreak. Yes. It was a lot of frustration. Yeah. And she could see me sometimes. But then I couldn't help. I had to do my work, whatever came my way. Yeah. Uh, as an actor, I went down becoming smaller and smaller instead of growing. So I thought, you know, this is not my game. So then I started producing films. But uh, financially everything was all right or were there problems there? There well? used to be problems. There used to be problems. Yeah. It was tough, uh, very tough. And we all lived together. Mm. His mom, brother. Uh, Rajesh version. Everybody, all of us have stayed together and faced through those uh, tough times together. Maybe that's why we didn't uh, feel it so much. Because we were all so united. And all there for each other as well. But I didn't deprive them of anything. Especially children, I put them in the best school, Bombay Scottish. And we That's his nature, he never says no for anything or anybody. <laughs> we went for the best of holidays. But that inner satisfaction was not there. I remember reading an interview of Dad's when I was very, very young. Mm. And it said uh, that uh, I will not die until I prove myself. And as a child, I was reading that and that was my father. And I, I got hold of my sister, and we sat down on the bed and we prayed to God, <laughs> you know? Like, you know, let it happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that. And then, cut to, I, I, I remember you know, going for the premiere of his first film. Good girls. Good girls. And uh, <clears throat> I was too young to understand anything. For me, it was just, you know, it was a party. But uh, I remember driving up to the theater, and uh, mom and dad, were very tense. Uh, I didn't. I thought they were having a fight or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember mom asking dad that uh, you know if if this doesn't work, where will we go? What next? Because everything was on the line. We had mortgage, mortgage the house, the cars, everything. And uh, I saw a tear in her, in her eyes, and I was like, yeah. you know, I didn't understand it at that time, but now I do. I understand how much it took for him to you know, to, to, to get where he has gone. True. With the frustration, a lot of humiliation also, because like I and Pinky and Jitinder, his wife, Rishi Kapoor, Ritu, we all are good friends and we used to go to party together. But when we used to enter the party, all the photographers used to, Rakesh ji, uh, side no jai, please. So I and Pinky used to come, go on the side and stand, <laughs> and they used to be clicked. And I used to, I used to, I used to feel bad about me. I used to feel bad about her. But then, I, I couldn't do anything about it. This industry can be very cruel. Oh, yes. It's a lovely industry, but it's good only for people who are doing good away. Yeah. Survival of the fittest. It is. Uh, I remember uh, I was so thrilled like, uh, when Kudgar's released. In the very first week, there was a party at Holiday. And I entered the party. And it, I, was, I got so much used to it that I went on the side you know, myself <laughs> before they could tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but at that moment, they wanted me only. <laughs> because Khudgaz was a successful film. It's true. Mm. But Pinky, you came from a hugely successful film family. How did you cope with all this? I just let every day happen and cope with every day as it came. I never majorly got stuck to one thing. Oh, I don't have the money. Oh. My husband's not so popular. Oh, I never ever thought of that. 
I was very content within myself. Whatever I had, I was just happy. And I also knew one day that he would make it. Mm. Yeah, she used to tell me, see the way he's working? <laughs> he's, he's going to be successful. His film's going to work. Mm. So you've got to study hard, <laughs> and you're going to pass your exam the same way. <laughs> mm. Do you know something? I was just thinking, while the men pursue their grand dreams and ambitions, it's the wives and mothers who keep it all together, yep. who cope, who support, yes. who sacrifice yeah. even. Absolutely. She and has been well, the emotional support. That's the first support. time he's actually telling me that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I have told you that. And, and they never win the Filmfare Award, do they? Nobody knows what all they did to make it all happen. All right. I think they get more than that once they see that they've achieved what they've dreamed of. Actually, the rewards are there. Yeah. And the rewards are there for all to see. Exactly. Because that day, when, when Rithik was on stage at the Filmfare Awards, your expression said it all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you all know, in the past few weeks, my family has been through a lot. That's my most uh, memorable and very touching day for me. We witnessed joy, happiness, success. Fear, sadness, grief, all in a matter of a few days. The way he spoke, I mean, I could just cry even now. No, don't cry. <laughs> that day in the hospital, when you came, when I saw your faces, and in your own special way, you let me know that I was not alone, that I needn't ever feel alone again spoke very well. Made me very, very proud. And it makes me so proud today to say that I am a part of this film industry. She was so happy. Tears of happiness, I'm sure, yes. <laughs> Kahunapyarhe was a vindication of your struggle and your talent. But here too, Gudu, the success that you should have enjoyed was overshadowed by this terrible shooting incident. Tell me about it. Uh, I came down from the office at 6.10 and I sat in the car and suddenly I <laughs> see the windscreen uh, breaking. I thought somebody threw a stone or something. But then I saw the two guys uh, just in front of the bonnet and they're shooting. They've got guns in their hand and I ducked. And I asked the driver to move, to move. And he moved. So one uh, gunman came this way and the other uh, man, the man with the gun came on my left. And he shot from there, that's the bullet which I got. Oh dear. And as I went out, the first thing I did was to find out where Ritik was. I rang up home and asked Pinky, where is Ritik? I said, he must be somewhere at the gym or at Uday's house. Where is Dugu? I said, why are you getting so hyper? What's happened? Oh, then he just cooled down, you know, and he said, nothing, nothing, nothing. Some people have just shot at the car. I said, what? Shot at the car or you? Are you okay? Huh. I'm fine. I so, didn't want to tell them on the phone because otherwise they, don't, they would have got panicked. And then I rang up Ritik in Yeshji's house. I said, you be there. Don't get out of the house. 
because I thought okay, maybe the shooting is taking simultaneously. Mm. So then he asked me, Papa, what happened? So I said, He said, nothing, nothing. I've just been shot and I'm going to the cops. After I got over the initial second of shock, I realized what is happening. I said, what are you doing going, going to the cops? Go to the hospital. Yeah. He was so angry, he, you know, at what had happened. He didn't want to let those guys get, get away with this. So he drove to the cops first. I know, it's unbelievable. Cops bleeding. Him, yeah. yeah, it was bleeding. He could coordinate. His, his mind was still coordinating Amazing. his hands and he, was, he, he could dial the number. And, and then the cops took him to the hospital and collapsed there. That's where I saw him in the hospital, lying on the bed, with his jeans full of blood like oh you see in the God. movies. And that's where I got my shock. But I must say, amazing courage. So few people ever face a near-death situation and yes. then come out smiling. True. But tell me, Kudu, does this, does that scene that took place when they fired at you, does it haunt you? Sometimes it does. I remember one day, I think it was just a month back or something. Yeah. I was sleeping and in my dreams I said, Pachao, 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 Pachao. I started screaming, she woke me, what happened, what happened? I got up and I was dreaming that there were again four or five people sh uh, shooting at me. And I was no place, there was no place for me to run. Could, couldn't escape. But... The right way still there. <laughs> yeah. But you've got to focus on the good. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yes, that's yeah. the spirit. Yeah, but it can't be easy to forgive a world where success invites terrorism. I think God gave me success and life together. One yeah. more life together. That's true. Hrithik, you always idolized your father, didn't you? Yeah. I believe you used to mimic him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How did you do it? What did you do? My father was the hero, and every child uh, you know, wants to be like his father. And my father was a hero, I mean, uh, in film, so... I used to play his songs and put my collars up and <laughs> pretend I'm him and, you know, do the things that he... <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see him do no, it? No. Then we've got to see it now. We have to see it no, now. No, 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 I, I... How did you do it? <laughs> I do it when I was a kid. <laughs> so how, Kaisek here? I don't have the kind of collars now, so... <laughs> I mean, pretend there's a collar. I don't, know, I don't know, the things he used to do when he used to, you know, sing his songs and, you know, put his collars up and, you know, <laughs> go like this and stuff, I don't know. <laughs> to do all kinds of things. But since becoming a star from the person you were, does your family treat you differently? No. No Why extra bhaal? <laughs> me? I wish, but no. <laughs> But tell me something, how far can your parents influence you into doing things today? How dependent are you on them? Uh, I am dependent, yes. Uh, but I always follow my heart, eventually. So far it's always been the same way, you know. Their way and my way has so far been the same way. But um, I don't think, I, 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 don't, I don't foresee problems, but... I have been taught by them to follow my heart. So even if we differ sometime in the future. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah. I will do as I have been taught. I will follow my heart. Always. Well, for all of you, you know, your lives can never be the same again. It's all changed. Oh. But I'd like to know what specifically changes. Do you change or do people change around you? I think people really change, change around, around you. Yeah. You're the same person. But somewhere, they think differently. Oh, now she is so-and-so's wife. Now she's Ritik's mom. Yeah. So she's changed. But it's not really true. But you know, meeting you again, it's, it's been like we've revisited our lives all over again. Yes. And it's been a lovely journey, a very triumphant journey for you. But I want to ask you, can I keep Ritik back? for a little while more because Not I want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But I want to thank you both so much for such a lovely thank evening. Thank you for having Pinky us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for this rendezvous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.